Hey guys, welcome to Motivation Monday and Care is Care For. Today we're going to talk about tips on how to avoid being a people pleaser. So it's said that people pleasers base their feelings of security and self-confidence on the approval of others. And I know for me, I have a hard time saying no, and I just want to make people happy, but that's not always the right thing to do. So I wanted to do some research on how we can combat feeling like this and making the decision to put others before ourselves for our peace of mind. People pleasing comes from uh, or comes with a lot of risks like pressure and stress, which can also cause anxiety because you're depleting your energy resources. And I got this information from Linda Tillman. She's a clinical psychologist. And listen, Linda, you're right. Uh, number one, realize that you have a choice. When somebody asks you to do something, you're not obligated you're not obligated to deem yourself accountable for someone else's responsibility. So stop taking on the stress of the world on your shoulders because it's too much. Number two, set your priorities. If you don't know how to put yourself first, everyone else is going to keep taking from you. So cut it out. Uh, you have to think of who and what is most important. Do these requests align with your values, with what you want to do? If not, then tell them no. Uh... Number three, stall. Everything does not require an immediate answer. You don't have to keep giving your all so quickly to other people. When you got to think about it, it may not be what you want to do. So evaluate how you feel, what emotions you're having toward these requests before you just go saying yes. You. Um, this also gives you time to think about whether or not you can commit. It provides the opportunity to get details about said commitment because you could say yes and we just took on a whole nother role of things versus where had you taken your time before saying yes and asked some probing questions you would have known that you really really wanted to say no do you have the time to commit to that do you have the time to devote to that do you have the um what are you giving up and what how much stress is it gonna be sorry y'all i was reading between the lines and it wasn't working but yeah, either way, think about how much stress is this going to cause your personal life? Because it's not something that you need to do. It's something that somebody else needs you to do. So if it's going to take you out of your comfort zone, out of your peace, is it worth it? Let me work. Yeah, I'm playing. Um, number four, set a time limit because your time is valuable. So if you want to help, but you know that you cannot commit all day, Say I'm available from 10 to 12 or set a specific time frame that you are available and don't let them walk over that because you cannot get time back. So stop giving so much of yourself to somebody who you don't want to. It's not it's not a matter of whether or not they deserve it. When it comes to you, put yourself first. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. Don't feel bad about it. Number five, consider whether or not you're being manipulated because... <laughs> If you know, like I know, people will manipulate you. Some people, one of the examples in the article was like, oh, you're so good at baking cakes. Do you think you can bake Tommy a birthday cake this weekend? You knew Tommy's birthday was coming up before today. It's Monday. Why would you ask me last minute? That's dis disregarding what I have going on. Now you want to put extra pressure and stress on me because you weren't taking care of your priorities. No. Don't let people manipulate you or make you feel so good to amp you up just to get something out of it because they need you. It's not right. Uh, but either way, those are the five topics or five um, tips that we'll cover today. Stay tuned next week for more ways on avoiding being a people pleaser. I hope that we're all able to gain from this, learn from this, and grow from this. I hope you guys have an amazing week. And thanks so much for staying tuned to Motivation Monday and Care is Care For.